Yo, so I just did a reading, a live on Instagram, and they said, brace yourself. And it instantly made me think of a huge impact, a sudden impact. And then I was like, what movie was that? So I went and looked it up, and that's Deep Impact. <sighs> Morgan Freeman is the president in that movie. So you can go and check out the synop synopsis, but I'll just briefly talk about it. It's about... um. There was a comet coming towards Earth, and someone knew about it. They knew about it, but they weren't telling the people. So someone went to the president and told him to tell the people. Or they were trying to make sure they could stop it from happening. Yeah, they were... Joining forces with people who knew exactly what to do. But I'm feeling that energy is like maybe I'm channeling, I'm speaking to a engineer, a scientist, a astronaut or something. And it's like you're knowing, you know. And I got some information too, but at this time I can't share it. My daughter told me I can't, so I'm going to stick to that. But it does have something to do with the meteor. Oh, Mau Mau. That's O-U-M-A-U-M-A-U. -A -A so you can check that out if you want. But that definitely reminded me of the Titanic. The way it looked, it's like these spaceships. But I'm also seeing, because I saw the hangman at the bottom of the deck, it's like looking at these comets differently and knowing that they are our star ancestors coming to help us so not fearing these things but it was so weird too because I also was tapping into the energies of this star I seen shining the other night it's like it was giving me something to decode it was sending me some sort of message and the next day when I woke up I noticed that <clears throat> um what did I notice? Oh, I was reading something about a comet having a volcano on it or a tsunami or some shit was going on. I think it was a volcano. And I was like, oh shit, was that that light codes I was seeing? Because what I was seeing was a red planet or orange and it was like flashing. I don't, it was not a, what is that called? Satellite. I don't, I don't think it was any of those things. So I feel like these two lovers as well, they're being, re they're receiving a message. They're receiving some sort of divine guidance to come together. Really embracing this mission. But there's a mission. There's a mission and somebody has to go to the president and tell them what they know. But also, because it's a movie, I'm feeling, keep what you know to yourself. Because these star ancestors are coming, but they may be just coming for you, for you and your crew. And if you let them know your next move, if you let them know what's coming, when it's coming, then motherfuckers gonna try and jump on. Yeah, no? Nah? Look at that, the tower falling. That's Titanic vibes, is it not? Titanic vibes right there. See, shit's going to be falling apart. So shit's going to be falling apart. People's realities are being shifted. Yeah. We're seeing that, that false reality being shifted. There's no crack in the matrix. It's completely broken. The system's broken. It's been broken and it's failing and the star ancestors are coming through to help. Look at that supreme being. Supreme being. And what does she need in the end? I'm thinking about, what is that movie called? Fifth Element. She said, I came here to protect. But in the end, she needed love. She needed that kiss to give her that strength. So maybe somebody's feeling that as well. It's like you feel like you, you're here to protect the people. But you also have to remember that you need love as well. And make room, make time for that. 
and this love, this partnership that you're coming into union with, they're actually going to help you. <sighs> Look at that. They're actually going to help you. The queen bee, they're coming through to help you. This is for the masculines as well. Sons, they're coming through. Look at that. Peace on earth. Happiness. Alignment. There's so much more to be said, but I just want to come on and share this and get it off my chest. Yeah, look, pouring it out, getting it off my chest. So whatever you got to say, say what you need to say. Get it off your chest because it's going to open you up into having these endless possibilities. Okay, I'm going to close this off. Look at that. Bringing it in. Big changes. This is past life things. So learn from the past. Go back in time. Where did they fuck up? Where did they go wrong? What were they doing right? Look at that. All those choices. Not knowing which one to choose. Trying to see past the illusions. What did they do wrong? Destined, destined and faded, destined and faded events. Well, oh my gosh, I'm done though. I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna just pull a creativity because I'll finish this another day. I just have to. I just have to. Introspection is often necessary to deepen our awareness of the unity and divinity of life. The introspection, knowing that we're all connected. The stars too, yeah. We're all coming back together as one. There's going to be no separation. It's not going to be spread out. I love you all. I'm done, okay? Aloha.